Got him. Kind of a strong reaction from Justin Upton. I don't think I can remember a guy jumping up in the batter's box on a called strike three. Brian Knight rings him up, and he just tossed him. Gibson's got his hands full. It's one thing to lose him in this game. They don't want to lose him for three or four down the road. If he touches an umpire, that's going to happen. Kirk Gibson getting a few things off his chest, and I, I think it was just Upton that got tossed. I don't believe he got Gibson too. Now Pence to right, well hit. Peterson back at the wall. He reaches and it bangs off of his glove. Bounces off the corner of the fence. He whistles the throw in. He thought he was interfered with. Peterson is pointing to the stands that he was interfered with. All the guys down in the bullpen are doing the same thing. And they want Jack McKeon to come out and look at it. There's obviously the bullpen had a great look at it. The umpires are going to get together, and this may be one that is reviewed. And wouldn't you know, it's Philly fans out there, too, that uh, perhaps could have been the guys who interfered. Well, we'll take a look at it and uh, see exactly what happened, and maybe the umpires will do likewise. Well, that's fan interference. That's interference. That is fan interference. And it figures Philly fans reaching over a hat and a hand right in the way of Brian Peterson. If that is not overturned, it's a big, terrible call. So they got to look at this again. Joe West and crew chief, they're going to go check it out. And I think if they see what we just saw, they'll have to overturn that. He's out. He's out. So it's fan interference. And they're going to return Howard to first. Pence is out. Well, I think the correct call was made by Joe West. Now, Charlie Manuel's coming out. You cannot have a, a replay overturn. Right, you can't argue a, a replay. You can get an explanation, and that's it. So the fans, their 15 minutes of fame might last a little longer. Sanchez will continue to throw. The most frustrating part. Here we are in a home ballpark, and the consensus is more Philly fans than Marlins fans. And I feel like I'm in South Philly right now, to be honest. It should be that way there, but it shouldn't be that way here. Hopefully next year in the new ballpark, it's not. Yeah. You are not allowed to argue a replay, and he's been tossed. That's and he's been tossed. You can't argue a replay. Yeah, you're right. You can go out there and say, okay, what did you come up with? Why did you come up with that? And get an explanation, but you can't argue. Joe West probably said, hey, Charlie, go to the locker room and watch it yourself. <laughs> no, and knowing Joe, he may have. But that's the rule, and, and you because the umpires get a clear look at it. They make their decision. And you are not allowed to argue a replay. The ball changes directions. Watch this, changes its direction. Well, he, he, he touches his touches, glove. He touches the hand and the cap of both the guys that have their hands in the field of play. Yeah, I mean, clearly the fan touches Peterson's glove there as he's trying to make the catch. Now, why are they booing? They should be cheering that they're throwing those two guys out. 
scoring position. Oh, wow. Flat ball, left center field and deep. Way back, and she's gone! Three run, home run, Troy Tulowitzki. Number 30. And the Rockies have taken a 5 to 3 lead. It's 1974. National League shortstops with 30 or more home runs. Rich Aurelia in 01 with the Giants at 36. Hanley Ramirez in 08 with the Marlins at 33. Larkin in 96 with the Reds at 32. Tulo 32. Now he's got 30. Jimmy Rollins with 30. And uh, David Hernandez, who was leaving the game anyhow, just got run by the home plate umpire Todd Tishner. He evidently felt he was squeezed on a pitch or two. Maybe the first pitch to Carlo. It has more to do with uh, giving up four runs. There he goes to right field. This one may stay fair. Hayward coming on. He makes a diving grab. And the side is retired, although well, he thought maybe it hit the ground. Well, the reason that he did that, only because he came up throwing and he knew he probably trapped the ball. You know, again, <laughs> oh boy. See, you know, Hayward there. gave it away right away, I, Tom. I'm with you, Sarge. Lead. I thought from up here that he made the catch and that C.B. Buckner signaled it was a catch. Down the right field line, what do you think? The umpires are going to meet. Hayward leaves his feet, nope. and that is a one hopper right into his glove. Oh boy. Now, the problem is Polanco, well, I guess it's not a problem. Polanco would not have gone the seconds. No. Victorino would have stopped at third. He yeah. would not have scored. Well, the reason Hayward was getting up is to get that ball in right away. If he thought he would have caught it, what he would have done is he would have dove and then held the ball up. To show the umpire that he caught the ball. All right, here we go. Here's their decision. First and third with two outs. Now Freddie Gonzalez will come out. It's the right call looking at the replay. Now, again, we had the replay, but as Sarge said, and you know as an outfielder, he knew he trapped it because oh, no he came doubt. up firing. Looking for an Academy Award, doesn't get it on that particular play. Made a valiant try, but again, giving it away right away. Well, and I guess Freddie's asking him, well, who did see it? And that's what the umpires did. They get together and say, well, anybody see that one at all? Should have been, I think, C.B. Buckner's call because he's the umpire. It should go out toward the line as Freddie Gonzalez gets kicked out. Dale Scott, the crew chief, has taken up the argument. Freddie Gonzalez just asked C.B. Buckner, how did you not see that in the first place? So the Braves will come back out on the field. The Phillies have it first and third. Here's another look at it. Well, he's coming in. You're going to clearly see it bounce. Right there. Right there is right. You know, he continues on. Polanco knows right away. Whoa, hey, he didn't catch that. As he gets back, hey, timeout. So that's when he's telling them to get to get, to get together. Hey, you got a player that hadn't had a hit in a while. He's going to want that Victorino going. He slows down a little bit. Don't know actually why on that. But hey, we're doing a good job making sure, hey, I'm getting that ball in. Or after that, the out was called. So then they're basically no play. Now, I, I don't think Victorino would have scored. But he did turn and look and slow it up going around second. Freddie yeah. Gonzalez has been ejected. He's given the lineup card to Carlos Tosca. From Milwaukee, you know, he's experimenting with a new app on the computer. And he showed it to me. It was an outstanding pitch. And McGee just got tossed. Pitch of the at bat upcoming. 
Best ball away. The 2-2. Two -two. Morgan is swinging a miss. Strikeout for Carpenter, 95 miles an hour. Cardinals baseball is brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are winning. Grab some buds. Well, we've got benches clearing right now, and I'll tell you why. After Morgan, Bank of America ATM deposits are as easy as an infield fly and by AT&T. After Morgan Al struck out, he had a dip in his mouth. He took that out, and it looked like he threw it in the direction of Carpenter and the mound and was saying something. And at that point, the home plate umpire saw it. Molina was watching as well, and that's when he saw both these benches clear and the uh, bullpens as well. Didn't take much, did it? Umpires are getting together right watch now. This. He watch strikes this. out. Now watch what he does. Got to dip. Says something two or three times. Oh, and Carpenter hadn't said anything to him. He turned around. Now we're so used to seeing Carpenter, you know, get upset. And in this case, he definitely had the right to do so. That's just flat out wrong. Good at bat. Struck him out legitimately. And then you don't do that. Now at that point in time, it looked like Carpenter had not said anything. I don't think Carpenter really left the mound until after everything was pretty much done. He's intent on finishing this game and not going to do anything to jeopardize his position. The umpires getting together now, and there will be some ejections and Morgan's got to be the first and this throwing they just threw him out why <laughs> he wants to know why okay maybe it was T plush that did it One out here in the ninth. I'm sure they'll issue a warning, but you know, there's See, been. I'm telling you, I think Carpenter just turned his back, and in that replay, you saw him immediately scream at Carpenter. Watch this. Yeah, look at Carpenter. Down, doesn't down. say anything. He's not saying anything. He's getting the ball with. They throw it around the horn. He's probably oblivious to it, to it all. And then he kind of react a little bit to to Albert running by him. Here's the 2 1. And All night. I've never seen Carlos have that kind of reaction at the plate before. Never have. And now Jim Tracy's jawing at him. Well, both sides think back when Rosario got the outside call twice down. And a big strikeout for Homer Bailey. Two outs. So that'll bring up Todd Helton. He just threw somebody out. Mark Carlson just ran Jim Tracy. He ran somebody. I'm not sure who. A point to the dugout, and he tossed him. Yeah, maybe, you know what? I may have been, I may have been uh, wrong on that. We'll see. You know what? It was obviously somebody else. You know what? This, I believe, is the third time Jim's been run this year, and he got it's his fourth time actually, and he got his money's worth there because that is the longest the normally mild mannered Jim Tracy has been on the field chewing on an umpire. Man, and Carlos like Gonzalez was the player thrown at. Like to give somebody else a chance to touch home. This one to right field, and here comes Berkman. Soriaco's going to try it. Oh, yeah. And every he time. will make it. You will run on the arm of Lance Berkman every time. And 
the Cardinals won an appeal. And Siriaco left early. Third base umpire Sam Holbrook calls him out. Clint Hurdle will come out to argue. And that's going to end the inning on a double play. Nick Leva is beside himself. And Clint Hurdle and Sam Holbrook disagreeing. That's something you don't see very often. Guy being thrown out on an appeal play. We will take a break. And when we come back, we all will look at it together. Run comes off the board. It's 4-2. to two. I'm not sure I know where he comes up with this call here. Looks like the ball is in the glove and the foot is on the bag. Baseball in the glove. On the bag. Look at the foot. Cardinals get the call. Sam Holbrook told him what he thought. And Sam Holbrook made the gesture to indicate that Clint has been ejected from this ball game. And this is probably what happened as they probably looked at this in the clubhouse. Someone had looked at it and relayed word to Clint that uh, it was a bad call. I can assume that was the case. Pretty good at bat because Kershaw had him 0 and 2, then it went to 2 and 2, and then he doubled and whoa! By hitting Kara, they're going to throw Kershaw out of the game. Holy mackerel! The plate umpire is Bill Welty. That ball hit him in the elbow, says Barajas. Oh my gosh. We wondered about what would happen tonight. Kershaw going for his 19th, and Para, the hitter who doubled, and now Clayton nails him, and he is kicked out of the game. You might wonder. Kershaw has now hit three. Mattingly is livid. Barajas was the first to really holler. That would have hit him on the elbow. And Welke interpreted and said it was intentional. Of course, that was the cloud over this ball game, and there was a lot of pressure, not on par, but then whoop! Now Mattingly's been kicked out. Well, that figured. What a frustrating night! Here is Kershaw. He's pitching a one-hitter in pursuit of his 19 victory and he gets kicked out because Kershaw has a pitch hit Gerardo Parra. The umpires naturally came into this game thinking about would there be retaliation and I assume they jumped to that conclusion. Bill Welke is a veteran umpire been in the big leagues over 12 years. So that is amazing. And what a twist. Kershaw and there's one consolation. Kershaw went the required five innings. So even though he's been kicked out of the game at the start of the six. He could still win his 19th. Chase strikes out for the third time in the game. They leave Damon at third base. Five and a half done. Four three. Boston. Well, something has got Joe Madden fired up here. Hunter Winterstead, the home plate umpire. I'm not sure if John Jason continued the conversation when he came out after striking out to end last inning. The catcher for the Rays, but Madden is not pleased with Hunter Winterstead. Now, usually, if you're arguing balls and strikes, you're out of the game automatically. So. There's been a lot of calls that have not gone in the direction tonight of the Tampa Bay Rays. And maybe that's causing this frustration here from uh, Joe Maddon. If Madden's been thrown out of the game, plates that wide, he said. The 
And we'll see if Joe heads right down the runway and out. I would have to say he's been thrown out of the ball game for arguing balls and strikes. Fly ball to deep left. Martinez back on it. Is it gone? It is a home run. A home run for Pena who stops at second base, but the third base umpire, Marty Foster, said it was gone. They might replay it just to make sure, but the Cubs lead four to three. We've seen this occasionally when the ball bounces up. That's almost definitely a sign that it went in the basket and over the yellow line for a home run. Oh, it hit the yellow line. It stayed in. That's not going to be a home run. They're going to look at it. Well, we'll call it our HP home run replay until uh, further review. I've never. Have you seen a ball do that here? No. I've never seen no. a ball hit the yellow rope and stay in. And they're going to head for the replay. And the result. Yep. And that's unfortunately for the Cubs the correct call. And Mike Quaddy's going to argue that Castro should score, but we had a great look at it. Castro had just gotten the third. When you talk about a game of inches. I mean, we're talking about just the smallest fraction of an inch if that ball hits a little bit higher on that yellow stripe on the basket it probably bounces up into the bleachers but hit just in a perfect spot to pop straight up in the air and drop onto the warning track again i have never seen a ball hit that exact spot and the point of replay is to get those border calls correct and in this case it did work now Jeff Nelson is going to call for the grounds crew just to work on the dirt here and Brett Myers may get a couple of warm up tosses but the Astros still lead believe it or not three to two. Right there. Right on top of that reinforced uh, rope or whatever it is that goes across the top of the basket. And kicks it straight up in the air and it falls down on the warning track and a good quick recovery by Martinez out there in left field. We get a little closer view right here as a fan reaches an umbrella out there to possibly make a play but you can clearly see the ball hits the yellow stripe and trampolines back onto the field. Great work by our crew and Mike Quaddy still discussing it with the umpires. Brad Mills is going to make a pitching change and that's a legitimate argument. Yeah. Now I guess in the end in the future you got to tell your players just keep running as hard as you can until the play is completely over just run all the way to the plate. It's the Verizon call to the pin. We'll be back. What a bizarre eighth inning but while that was going on. Mike Quaddy was ejected from this game. I think you're right Lenny he was probably arguing the fact uh, that Marty Foster the third base umpire signaled home run Starlin Castro saw that sign as he rounded second base and was headed for third. Once again you'll see as the ball is already the cutoff man before Starlin gets to the base at third but Marty Foster was calling a home run the entire time. He rounded the bag at first, chugged into second. He had his head down running. He didn't really see what happened out there in left field. He just assumed it was a double. He's tonight. Our Trumbo a home run is Weeders. The throw that goes down is a stolen base bid, but it is strikeout. Weeders started down to first base, but they appealed to third and he went around. Strikeout and caught stealing. Both are out. And uh, arguing here is Buck Showalter. You can't argue balls and strikes. They call the swing right there on Wieners and then the throw to second base. 
will get Guerrero. Nice play on the backhand there by Marco Scudero. Second strikeout for Atchison. See if uh, Scooter ever got the tag on him. Well, sometimes you're out by so much. Well, he did it. Well, I don't know. That hand. Yeah, the hand and the tag almost came at the same time, didn't it? Yes. But sometimes you look out by so much you're going to be out. Stealing. Well, there's the jump. And BJ kind of pulled up there at the end as he looked in there, did not go in hard at all. And he did get him. Well, Upton's out at second, and he's just been ejected the helmet. Went out toward the uh, first base side between first and second. Right about the halfway point of, of that attempted steal, he got a good jump, and then for whatever reason, just pulled up as he closed into second base. And the, as you saw in the replay, clearly got him. Curveball, locked him up. A strikeout, and Wigginson spiked that helmet, and he got tossed out of the game. It's no runs, no hits. A couple of men left. A good play at the plate by Fernando Rodriguez and Humberto Quintero to keep the game tied 2-2. Yeah, yeah. It's a big league look. Swing and a miss. Runner on the move. Throw down. In there, it was the slide that got by. Oh, Jeff Kepinger, livid right now as he talks to second base umpire Gary Darling. Bruce Bochy going to come and have a conversation as well with the crew chief. It was a great slide by Parra. Now, was it great enough to get around the tag? Kepinger says no. Nothing yet. Nothing. Oh, yeah, he got it. Yep. Out. Yep. Great angle. Great shot there. From everybody involved. Oh, no. Says Chris Stewart. Now Boach is gone. Gary Darling turning up for his boat. You've been tossed. It's been a frustrating six weeks for the Giants, their fans, and their manager. Maybe a little bit of, of an outlet here. Giants fans that are here in appreciation of their skipper. Stolen base for Para. Stolen base number 15. Diamondbacks got a break there. What does Bo have here? Capinger. Chopped slowly to third. Fielded there by Pena. And 
Pedroia slides in safe. Nick Swisher thought he had him. So did Pena. But Tim McClellan, the first base umpire, calls him safe. So an infield single. We'll take another look. Here's the throw. Uh, he's clearly uh, out. He is clearly out at first base. That's a case right there of sliding, probably distracted McClellan. And you can see Aaron Laffey doesn't agree with the call as well. And now Joe Girardi out quickly because Nick Swisher is arguing with McClellan, and Joe's running out of players. This goes back earlier in the ball game. Mm -hmm. And now Girardi's thrown out of the game. And he said, you've, you've blown three calls, he said. And Robinson Cano leading Nick Swisher away from first base for the moment. So Girardi gets tossed by the crew chief to McClellan. Side. Obrist has never had a hit off Hughes. He's 0 for 10 against him with a walk. And he takes this one too low. And back to back walks. He walked Longori on four pitches, and now he walks Obrist on four. Now Johnny Damon about to step in and Paul Schreiber has just ejected Russell Martin. Martin wasn't happy with some of these uh, calls made and uh, was squatting there and never turned around. But it got to the point where Paul Schreiber actually went out from behind Martin and turned around to face him and uh, has ejected him. So the New York catcher has been ejected. That was, I don't, I don't know that I've ever seen that before. No. Joe Girardi out there. Girardi was, he was ejected from uh, the Red Sox game at Yankee Stadium before the Rays. And the Yankees uh, squared off here at Tropicana Field. So Martin has been ejected. So Girardi registering his dismay, but of course he can't say anything about balls and strikes. He's just got to tell him that he's not happy. Watch this. Well, Martin did say something there. Now, as he's down, Schreiber confronts him and ejects him. Now, Porcello's 1-1. One, one. one ball, two strikes on us. Drupal Cabrera. Swing and a miss. Cabrera strikes out, and it is indeed a 1-2-3 frame. On our way to the bottom of the first. A heated conversation with home plate umpire Dan Bellino. What the source is, uh, we're not sure. He apparently threw somebody out of the game. Was it Manny? It may have been Manny. It's not Cabrera because as Drupal went out to short. Well, there's the last pitch to end the inning, and now uh, watch the umpire. Somebody said something from the dugout, and there he is. He tossed somebody. So we'll wait and see if it's indeed Manny Acta. He came out and argued vehemently. And Dan Bellino tossing somebody here in the first inning. This is what took place in between innings. So somebody's been ejected. We're assuming it's Manny Acta. We'll wait and see. I'll get you the official word. It is officially Manny Acta. <laughs> Manny got ran the last day of the year <laughs> in the first inning.